Hey guys, hope you well. So simple interest. Let's talk about interest first of all. Okay, so interest can be good for you and it can be bad for you. Let's talk about how it could be um, good for you. So let's do this. So let's say you have a thousand rand. And guys, listen carefully. As long as you, or as soon as you understand what this whole thing about interest is, the section becomes really easy. So let's say you have a thousand rand, okay? And you're not using that 1,000 Rand. You're just leaving it. Um, it's sitting in your wallet or it's sitting in your bank account and you're not needing to use it anytime soon. So what you could maybe do with that 1,000 Rand is you could invest it, right? You know how people buy stocks and shares and all of those things? Well, you could think of it like that. We, we can invest it, okay? So let's say we invest it. And the place where we invest it says that they will give us 10%, okay? Sometimes they'll say PA, which means per annum, which means per year. So I'm just going to say per year, okay? So they're going to give you 10% per year, so how much money will you have after one year? Well, you're going to earn 10%. So what is 10% of a thousand rand? Now of actually just means times. Okay. And so you could type that on the calculator like that, where the calculator has got a percentage button. Um, let me quickly show you. So if you want to use that way, then you could say 10 then you say, um, you see there's a percentage over there. So you could say shift percentage. Then you say multiply by a thousand. Okay, so that's a hundred rand. There are other ways you could do it. 10%, um, you could say 10 over a hundred first, because that's what 10% is. It's 10 over a hundred. Multiply by a thousand. And that also give you a hundred rand. What some learners even like to do is they first like to work out what is 10%, so they just do that. Whoops, I typed the wrong button. 10% equals. So what is 10%? It's 0 0.1. Then they say 0 0.1 multiply by 1,000. All of the answers are gonna give us 100 Rand. There's different ways of doing it, okay? The point is, is that this is gonna be 100 Rand. So after one year, you are gonna earn 100 Rand interest. So that's like a bonus. So how much money do you have now? Well, now you'll have 1,100 Rand. You see? So interest, because you started with 1,000 Rand, and then because you invested your money, you earned 100 Rand, and so now you have 1,100 Rand. So that's the way that interest can be very good. Now, when can interest be bad? Well, interest can be bad when, let's say, for example, you don't have any money at the moment, but you need money. So where do you go? So let's say you go to the bank and you ask them for a thousand rand. So they're going to give you a thousand rand. But you know what happens is that because they gave you a thousand rand, they're going to tell you that you must pay the money back maybe in one year but they're gonna make you pay back a little bit more. Why? Because they're gonna add interest. So let's say that they say they're gonna add 10% per year. They're gonna add 10% per year. So we know by now that 10% of 1,000 is 100 Rand. So how much money are you gonna pay them? How much money will you have to pay them back? Well, you're gonna have to pay them the original 1,000 Rand, plus you're gonna pay them the 100 Rand interest, and so you're gonna give them back 1,000 100 Rand. So can you see that in this scenario, interest is bad. Why? Because it makes you it makes you have to give more money back. Whereas if you are investing, then interest is good, because then your money is going up. So interest is a good and a bad thing. Okay, so that's just the introduction of interest. We get different types of interest. Um, we get compound interest, we get simple interest. But in grade eight, we're mostly gonna focus on simple interest and we're gonna do things like um, higher purchase, which is what I'm gonna be showing you guys um, very shortly in one of our next lessons, okay? But for this lesson now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice the simple interest a little bit 
longer um, because now we're going to start doing things like three years, for example. So it says here, what will 1,000 Rand become if it grows? Okay, so this is like a good type of interest where it's investing 10% per year for three years. Okay, so there's different ways you can do this, okay? One of the ways you can do it, so one way, well actually let me just give you a very simple way to do this. All you do is you take, um, let's just say here's a nice easy formula. Easy formula to calculate interest. And I'm gonna call it the PIN formula. So just write PIN, and that is how you calculate the amount of interest, okay? You just use the PIN formula, where you're gonna say P multiplied by I multiplied by N. So P is the start amount, I is the percentage, and N is the number of years. So you take a thousand rand, that's your starting amount, multiply, what is the percentage? 10%, and then what is the years? Three. And if you had to go work that out, you would end up with 300 rand. So that is how much interest you earn. But the question says, what will a thousand rand become? So if you started with a thousand rand and you earn 300 rand of interest, well, then you now have a thousand 300 rand. Okay. So let me explain how this formula actually works. You see, every year it's going to go up by 10%. So if you say 10% of a thousand rand, that would give you 100 Rand. But then what happens if we're doing that for three years? Well, then you'll just multiply that by three. Or you could even say multiply by three over there. And so there we can see that we are multiplying the percentage, which is the I, we're multiplying the 1000, which is the P, and we're multiplying the number of years, which is the N. And then instead of saying IPN, I just decided to switch it around and call it the PIN formula or the PIN formula. And so that is a really nice, easy way to calculate interest. Let's try a few more examples. So we know that interest, simple interest, is now calculated using the PIN formula. Interest is equal to PIN. And so it says you borrow 500 Rand from the bank. They tell you to pay it back in two years and interest will be 20% per year, okay? Now, it says the first question, how much interest will you pay back? So we know that to calculate the simple interest, we use the PIN formula. And so P is the starting amount, I is the percentage every year. We should actually say here that I is the percentage per year, okay? That's very important, it must be per year. Okay, and then N is the number of years. So this will be two years. And so if you had to go calculate that, you'll end up with 200 Rand. So that is how much interest you will pay back. Now it says, what is the total amount that you will pay back? Well, think about this. How much did you borrow? You borrowed 500 Rand. And then how much interest did they add? 200 Rand. So how much would you have to give back to the bank? Well, you're gonna take 500 Rand plus the 200 Rand, and so you now need to pay back 700 Rand. You can't, when you borrow money from the bank, they always gonna make you pay more back because they're gonna give you interest. That is how the banks make their money. They tell you, hey buddy, here's 500 Rand. Oh, but by the way, you are gonna give us 700 Rand back. Makes sense, right? That's how they make their money. They're not gonna give you 500 Rand and then you're just gonna give them 500 Rand back, then they're not making any money. Here's our last one. What will 500 Rand become if it grows for five years at 8% per year? So we know that to calculate simple interest, we use the PIN formula, where remember, P is the start amount, I is the percentage per year, and N is the years. So we're just gonna go and say then that P is the starting amount, which is 500, I is the percentage, and then five years. Now, I haven't showed you, I did show you in the beginning of this lesson, but let me show you how to put this on the calculator. Okay, so the way that you can type that in is you can say 500 multiply by 8%, so I do it like that, and then multiply that by five, and that'll give us 200 Rand. 
200 rand. And so if you start, it said, what will the 500 rand become? Well, the 500 rand will add the interest of 200 rand. So what would it become? 700 rand. So if you have 500 rand and you invest it for five years at 8%, then it will become 700 rand after the five years.